Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons, a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 400 days. I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. As you can see, we are having an amazing fight against our enemies. Our main idea is to somehow get to zone 5 in order to have the uh, last fights against stronger enemies right now i will try my best to get as much merits as possible out of this fight so let's see how successful i will get and what kind of merits we are going to have at first as you can see we are having some infantry wall from our side and from enemy side and of course i will try my best to mainly focus on the back line because that should be the, my main goal that's how in general i think every free to play player should play it's pretty hard for free to play players to focus on infantry and be successful in that way simply because we, like we are getting a lot of counter attack damage towards ourselves and that's never a good idea to receive so many uh, counter attack physical counter attack damage towards your free to play accounts free to play legions so far as you can see i have not got a targeted so far but simply because enemies throw so many artifacts on my face and on our face that's how i got generally so so much damage to my legions but i think i will survive for quite a lot of time in this battlefield which should be the uh, on our favor because it's only like third phase yeah i do i did see this cavalry player teleporting towards our our uh, backline which got destroyed and yeah as i have mentioned many many times uh, zooming out is amazing ability which everybody should be using simply because you can actually see what you are hitting you can actually see what your alliance members are targeting and that's the perfect way for fighting especially against tier 5 players right whenever you are zoomed out you can see that you are hitting some mages you are hitting mar uh, marksmen and if you are playing as a ranged player that's the one of the most important things to understand that you are hitting the correct target if we're gonna look at closely on these lines which are for my alliance members like blue lines it says what my alliance members are targeting which makes everything way more easier in my opinion if you're gonna zoom in you can see there is like a big chaos it's so hard to understand what's happening that's why i always prefer to just simply zoom out and just to click on uh, icons unfortunately game little bit bug then it's hard to see uh, what's going on here but yeah what's important is that we are moving forward we are doing damage and we will be trying to get as much merits as possible out of this fight generally whenever i see the reports of the merits uh, whenever i see yellow it means that i did a great job that's always what i'm trying to get as much yellows as possible out of every single legion and yeah my legions are mainly free to play friendly legions uh, the most uh, powerful legion which i have is my nico and kinara simply because the only legendary hero i have awakened is kinara and yeah like free to play players will understand me whenever I, whenever I say the only legion which I have awakened because it's really hard for um, any player to awaken legendary hero because it requires a lot of uh, legendary tokens which is not that easy to get right uh, I managed to go to the front line which is not that great because I need to move back um, whenever I not get targeted I'm I'm getting way more merits so whenever I'm hun hunting for enemies so my main gameplay is to play with my alliance members and that's what kind of gameplay i always advise hopefully uh, this uh, fight will be on our favor which kind of looks like it will be uh, and i think we are going to get a big amount of merits out of this fight simply because enemy should be already tired uh, i'm not saying that enemy has only tier 4 players because i'm quite sure that they have a lot of tier 5 players also but our main idea is not to fight against these two alliances our main idea is to fight against the zone 5 alliances and they are simply on our way that's why we had to move forward and we have to destroy them uh, slowly and shortly right unfortunately i'm receiving a lot of artifact damage which enemy is trying to throw on my face on our faces but that's the damage we are actually taking like a lot of damage but i i hope my alliance members 
course will use a lot of tier of arbons uh, which will be healing my legions and healing our legions right i think in general tier of arbon is one of the most underrated artifact especially during wars uh, so like more uh, your ally members will have tier of arbons it will be better for everybody because those like ticking healing uh, skill uh, it should not be underestimated it heals a lot especially if you have a level 5 uh, that's an amazing amount of healing and also the stats the defensive stats which you are having on your tier of arbon is quite important also uh, I will try my best to use my uh, Phoenix Eye in a better way because so far I was using my artifacts on a single target which is not always the best idea but whenever you are having this kind of war and on the front line you see so many troops so many infantry players it's not that easy to be uh, thinking about like uh, hitting couple of legions because once you're gonna try doing that straight up you are getting targeted and you are going to go down that's the thing which I don't want to happen unfortunately I go targeted and my Syndrion and Freygar are almost done so yeah well I managed to make some moves from the enemies like follow my legion which is great because my alliance members did the, all the job and destroyed the enemies who moved with me so as you can see we are doing absolutely fine we are getting merits we are pushing we are destroying towers so like now what can happen better right like that was our main goal and we are accomplishing our goal right yeah i got targeted so i will just move back uh, because i don't want to waste my troops and whenever i well yeah enemy just used their hydra which will actually do a lot of damage to our legions so we need to be prepared we need to choose our position in a better way and i will try my best to use to wait for my artifacts to be recharged so i will be able to use them again now uh, yeah this infantry player is quite far let's just move back because yeah that's my syndrome fragar is just simply gone which is totally fine i think whatever i could do i did pretty well in this fight and there should not be any problems of me losing the allegiance because enemy is simply throwing a lot of artifacts towards us and you can't really avoid artifacts whenever you are fighting in a mass fight uh, only thing you can do is whenever you are getting targeted just move move away and try to be useful in that regard right uh, right now it's my turn to use my artifact in a better way uh, hopefully i will do and yeah that's what actually happened uh, my phoenix i hit maximum amount of legions nearby and i'm focusing mages right whenever you are playing marksman the best thing you can focus is the mage legion because they have the lowest amount of uh, physical defense and that's the maximum amount of damage you will apply towards your enemy yeah my legions are still alive i understand that whenever your legion is not full health you are not dealing huge amount of damage but still whatever we can do that should be absolutely enough and i think soon my legions will be going home because they are pretty low and it will take a lot of time and energy to wait for my artifact cooldowns let me check if my alliance members are trying to destroy hydra well i guess some of them are some of them don't and i will just keep targeting my targets which are cavalry cavalry mages and marksmen i hope you guys like this type of content simply because i still repeat uh, the best combat gameplay that i have seen in any kingdom builder game is call of dragons and what would be the best video if not the combat gameplay right unfortunately i still have to focus on this tank player um, hopefully he is tier 5 and he will fall that's what actually happened and yeah i think my phoenix eye will be recharged quite fast and i will be able to use this one on the like multiple targets hopefully i will use my phoenix eye here let's see if my walder and uh Welling will keep surviving and if i will be able to recharge my phoenix eye and use it one more time in general like every mages which are dealing damage to couple of legions is always great to have uh, in this kind of fights and as i have mentioned Thea and Craig still one of the best performing uh, main, uh, marksman legions which I currently have uh, and simply I don't even have my 
AI Awakened, only Craig is Awakened, they are like performing in a one of the best way which I never understood why and how. Uh, I'm actually getting way more merits with Craig and Tia rather than just with my Nico and Kinara which is quite surprising for me. Yeah, my world is gone, only region which is left on the battlefield is my Craig and Thea and soon I will be able to check how much merits I got with my legions. Well, I guess my Thea is trying her best to heal the troops which are inside the legion and still, in general, as I have mentioned before, whenever you are using Craig, Craig actually has a bleed which is quite impressive if you will think about it and so much and the buffs Craig is receiving from the Thea buffs is just too much and that's why I think Craig and Thea is still one of the best performing hero pair which I currently have even with my Awakened Kinara. <clears throat> I, I'm still thinking about Awakening Thea second one but still let's see what kind of decision I will make in the near future. Finally my legions are gone. Finally, I can see what kind of damage I did. Uh, well, that's the damage I did. Uh, three yellows out of four, which is really, really acceptable. I think that's the amazing result which I'm seeing in this fight, which like happened for a kind of long time, right? Like I did not get targeted for a many times, but unfortunately, enemies throw a lot of artifacts towards multiple targets, and it's almost impossible to avoid so many artifacts whenever there is so. Many many legions around the area well as i have mentioned my craig and thea craig is awakened thea is like five two one four or something like this my world is awakened the welling is five one one three my strongest legion is nico and kinara nico is like five four one two kinara is awakened and my syndrome and Fregar, they are just simply five one 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 hero pair and they are like more defensive stats because uh, they are attached with the Heart of Kamasi and Heart of Kamasi is more survivability artifact rather than offensive. In terms of hospital, well, 700k hospital, which is not a low amount, I will need like a couple of days, like maybe two days in order for me to heal fully, but yeah, whatever you can do, if you like to fight in Call of Dragons, you need to understand that your hospital will be always full, right? Let's check one more time what's happening uh, in the battlefield, I'm pretty sure we are winning, I'm pretty sure we are destroying the towers, which is one of the most important thing, it's not all about merits in Call of Dragons, it's about winning and losing right if your alliance is moving forward and destroying towers you are winning if you are having a lot of merits and but your alliance is losing it means that you are losing i hope you like this type of content which i'm always uh, happy to make because i am having a lot of fun fighting against enemies and fighting in general in call of dragons is the best one which i have ever seen in any kingdom builder game if you like the content if you like the video press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make more content for this amazing game i hope everybody will have amazing day morning or night we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck